What's up guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Marie. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thanks for choosing to hang out with me today. Today, we are headed to my horseback riding lesson first and foremost. Andrew is uh, behind the wheel and um, I'm gonna get some emails cranked out while we're driving. It's gonna be a fun day. I don't quite know what the topic of today's vlog is yet, but we're vlogging. I'm really trying to get at least two at the bare minimum, hopefully three videos up every week now. So I just need to get back in the habit of picking up the camera, talking to you guys, and letting the vlog take me wherever we go. Open eye, through the waves cut through me, hypnotized. By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you complete and I am super sweaty it's so hot out here 87 and then we're in like direct Sun basically working out <laughs> so it's really hot and I am like super sweaty anyways that was an amazing lesson growing up I did a lot of show jumping I showed I jumped like I did up to three, 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 six classes, so the jumps were decently high, especially considering how old I was. And now I'm back down to doing, you know, basic flat work and um, really low fences, like little cross rails. And part of me is like frustrated because I know that I used to like jump so much higher and then I realized that I also neglected a lot of the basics. I neglected a lot of the flat work. I neglected a lot of those foundational things. And it's so important with anything in life to go back to the basics and go back to what you know is important, even if it's not the most fun thing to do. Because humans get bored of flat work, horses get bored of flat work. It's very just like monotonous, um, especially if they know that they're gonna be jumping. and that like sometimes the boring shit is the important shit and that goes for so much like so many areas of life you know that there are things that you're supposed to do in order to keep things you know efficient safe productive and that can be applied to lifting you know you should warm up you know you should do mobility you know you should foam roll that can go for schoolwork. you know you should do your homework before the exam like there's just so many things that this can be applied to and that's just kind of that was going through my head today during my lesson about being somewhat like sad that I have to start back at not quite square one don't get me wrong but I have to backtrack in order to like be better down the road I need to go back and fix bad habits I need to go back and work on the basics and the foundations Ugh. so life lesson life reflections rambles with re really appreciate Andrew getting some footage for y'all I hope you enjoyed it I know most of you come here for like the gym stuff but um, I do have actually quite a few equestrians that watch my channel and I like sharing other areas of my life and even if it's not like your favorite content to see I really like documenting it for myself and that's like part of the reason why I do YouTube so um, yeah that's that's that and now we're headed Andrew has to finalize 
some paperwork at his new job which is super exciting and then we're gonna get a little something something to eat which is also gonna be super exciting hello it is the next day um yesterday was just like random not exciting things going on so i didn't film so i'm actually gonna go hit a morning workout which i have not been doing a lot of recently um i've been getting kind of into this bad habit of like oh i'll work out whenever and then i just keep pushing it back keep pushing it back so i end up being at the gym until like 10 or 11 p.m and that's just like annoying so yeah i am gonna go to the gym i'm gonna make some pre-workout with um we're gonna do where's it at i don't really need caffeine right now i feel pretty good so i'm gonna do some high volume which is a caffeine free pump product and then i'm also going to add in some true glutamine which is aiding in recovery um i we recently came out with this but didn't do like a huge launch and ever since i added it back in i've noticed that my soreness has really decreased and like i still get sore but it goes away a lot faster which is awesome and then also make sure i take my creatine and then <laughs> amino IV. So this is everything I'm taking pre-workout right here. 30% off code for these is Marie on PEScience.com. Um, I always disclaim like you do not need supplements in order to make progress or perform well in the gym, but they can absolutely help, especially if they're ones that are backed by science and have studies to show their efficacy which all of the PE Science products do. So that is that. I'm gonna drink up a little pre-workout, do some warm-up cardio, and I'm gonna try to get some clips for you. I'm alone and at my apartment gym though, so we shall see. Update was not able to film a single set. Ollie, do not eat my salad. Was not able to film a single set because the super strict front desk guy was there and we got an email that no professional filming is allowed, like the whole complex got that. So I don't know if they would con consider filming for YouTube professional, but just not gonna risk it because I would like to continue being able to uh, work out there. <laughs> So I'm having a post-workout salad, actually. I typically would not recommend having like a high fiber meal after workout. I think easy to digest carbs and protein are um, optimal, but I've been loving the salad. It's all I really want right now and I need to clear some stuff out of my fridge. So we're going for it, but this is what it looks like. It is delicious and summery and uh, it's like my favorite salad. Ollie. There are lots of goodies in here. So it's a bed of three types of lettuce. It has some chicken that I get prepped from Bite Meals. This was frozen, so don't mind the date, but it has some chicken from Bite Meals. I like to order by the pound for some proteins and stuff. And then it has sliced strawberries, has some fat-free feta, it has a serving of this 
almond cranberry salad stuff and then it has a serving of Panera dressing the poppy seed which is super macro friendly it's like zero fat five carb you'll notice this meal is very low fat because it's fat free feta uh, fat free dressing and really the only fat sources are a little bit in the chicken and then a little bit in these um, almonds there's like two fat per serving because there's also cranberries in here uh, so like half almonds half cranberries cranberries don't fatten them you feel me um, so post workout meal you want not a lot of fat you want protein and carbs and you want things that are easy to digest so like i said having a lot of fiber is not optimal but we're going for it hi bubby Okay, just got back from running errands, went to a coffee shop, and worked for a couple hours on my laptop, and look who's home from his first day of work. How'd it go? Okay. Ollie! <laughs> Dude. Such a rascal. Anyways, I'm going to make some macro-friendly pesto for us for dinner, so I'm going to record that and share the recipe with you guys because I don't know if you knew this, but pesto sauce is really, really, really high calorie because it's really high in fat. It's usually made with like olive oil, pine nuts, cheese. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously that stuff all adds up really fast because fats are very calorically dense. So I'm going to make it a little bit more macro friendly and show you guys how. finished sauce looks like I'll put the macros across the screen but I haven't calculated them yet I'm gonna make some zucchini pasta put this over and then I'll give you a review okay so I just spiralized an entire zucchini with this thing which I will link below if you want one for yourself but I just washed it spiralized it and now I'm gonna put it in a hot pan and saute it in addition to the actual zucchini noodles, I'm gonna make a little bit of this zucchini lentil pasta. This is in the frozen section, and it has really good macros. Two fat, 22 carb with two fiber, and nine grams protein per serving, and the servings are pretty big. Hugh Angel singing, this looks delicious. So this is my finished product with zucchini noodles and the veggie pasta. Alright, what's the verdict? Good? This is really good. Is it too garlicky? I don't think so. Okay. So initially, when I did the first taste test, it was a little garlicky, um, because they used like a big clove of garlic. And then I added a little more basil and a little more um, chicken broth just to like stretch it a little bit more. And I think that was a good move. And then I also, if you saw, sauteed the sauce in in the pan for a couple minutes just to kind of like cook down the garlic because raw garlic is very strong. Um, so probably those things helped make, make it more palatable. I'm going to taste test it now. I have some zucchini noodles, some veggie pasta. Super excited. Yeah, I dig it. Now, it's really good for the macros, but I will warn y'all, it's not quite as good as like authentic pesto for obvious reasons. It's not like a million grams of fat per serving. And it also doesn't have pine nuts in it, which is traditional in pesto. But to be honest, I didn't wanna buy a whole package of pine nuts to only use like a fifth of it in this recipe. 
and then probably not use the rest. So if you really want the true authentic taste, get some pine nuts. If you don't really care, this is delicious. Highly recommend it. I will also put the recipe in the description box um, so you don't have to scroll back and write it down. But I'm going to enjoy this and see you guys in a bit.